Rescue crews worked well into the night trying to reach Japanese exchange students and teachers trapped in the rubble of a school taken down by a powerful earthquake in New Zealand. For New Zealand, this is the uh, most devastating um, earthquake in terms of casualties and buildings down since uh, 1931. The 6.3 magnitude quake struck around 1 in the afternoon, leaving Christchurch in ruins. One official says some of the 21 students and two teachers are accounted for. The crews are still working to reach the others. One trapped teacher called family in Japan, pleading for help. Similar scenes are taking place across the city. Dozens of people are known dead, but searchers are still working to find more survivors. There are people in buildings which have not been uh, completely searched yet. Um, the considerable disruption across the city during the afternoon, so there are probably people who have not made it home for all sorts of reasons. And uh, it'll take uh, probably until um, midday tomorrow to, to, to get a, a better feel for exactly what the uh, missing and the casualty rate truly is. This was the second quake to hit Christchurch in five months. While stronger, September's quake was not as destructive because it was further from the population center. Aerial views show buildings partially collapsed and roads split in half. I was on the fifth floor of the CTB building. Yep, and... Uh, just came down, like, right down. I was buried under part of the ceiling, and uh, when I looked out, I saw that we were on the road and people were looking at us. Officials have set up emergency relief centers to shelter and feed thousands of people. Other countries are also sending help. A 40-person search and rescue team left Australia, along with 10 tons of supplies. New Zealand Prime Minister John Key said this could be one of his country's darkest days. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.